Have you ever held moonlight in your hands? Well, you may say, that's absurd. The moon is in the sky. It is the only satellite of our planet Earth. Its light is the reflection of the sun, which is the star of our solar system. So moonlight is what we see in the night sky, not something you can hold in your hands. If you said all that, then you are very smart kids and good with scientific knowledge too. If your younger brothers or sisters ask you, what is a satellite? Or what is a planet? Or even what is the solar system? You know they haven't learned this important knowledge in their grade. If you have time, feels like it, you may try to explain what you know. But of course, they could always wait a year or two before learning from their science teacher like you did. My question remains, how you can hold moonlight in your hands? I bet you are getting annoyed with me by now. As you already said, that based on scientific knowledge, it is not possible to hold moonlight in your hands. First, let me tell you something about myself before I share a secret with you about the moonlight. My name is Ming, which is a Chinese name, and I came from China. China is not that far away. It is just on the other shore of the Pacific Ocean. China is a country that is as big as the U.S., but with a history much longer than the U.S. So, well, I think there are other ways to look at the moon. Can you find a pair of binoculars? Are you looking at the full moon on the mid-autumn holiday? What is the mid-autumn holiday? It is the day that Chinese people celebrate the moon, its light and its might. Yes, the moon has power, and moonlight on that special day is magic. I learned that when I was your age. That was many years ago, when I still lived in a courtyard in Beijing, the capital city of China, with my parents, grandparents, and my big brother. My big brother's name is also Ming, but since he's almost three years older than me, he's called Da Ming, or Big Ming in Chinese. I'm just Ming, or sometimes Mei Mei which means younger sister. In the courtyard, there are several other families with many other children, such as Xiao Hang, Hong, Ping, Xiao Bo, Gang, Jian Ying, and Yu Cui. Yu Cui lives next door to my family, and she's my best friend. Her name means green jade. Pretty, isn't it? Yu Cui and I walk to the same school together each morning, and we are in the same grade. After school, we always spend the afternoon together playing games and doing homework. Da Ming, Ming, come set the table for the moon festival now. My mom called on that particular mid-autumn day. I hand over the cartoon booklet we had been reading to Yu Cui. I will continue to read, will continue to read the Moon Lady story tomorrow. My mom is calling, Mooncake is waiting. Yu Cui sighs. I'm so hungry that I wish we could have a mooncake tonight too. I understand her unsaid words. She will not get to taste a mooncake. Yu Cui's family is large. She has four brothers and sisters and only her father has a paying job, while her mom stays home to take care of housework. So food in her family is much simpler and has to be shared among five children, rather than two, like my family. The Moon Festival meal is plentiful at our home. Since our grandparents moved in with us in the spring, this mid-autumn festival meal is even richer and more delicious. 
grandma's steamed pork with sticky rice is my favorite. And my brother loves my mom's fried ribbon fish in hoisin sauce. Grandpa and father likes the salted duck. Mom hurries to bring in stewed eggplants and tomatoes in meat sauce and a few stir fried seasonal vegetables before she finally sits down. We usually eat only vegetables and tofu at meals. But on the Moon Festival, the fish, duck, and meat are the highlights. The adults are drinking sweet Osmanthus wine, too. And even our children, even us children, get a little sips to honor the moon. After dinner, Grandpa takes us outside to the, into the yard and points to the full moon just rising from the eastern sky. Look for the jade rabbit under the osmosis tree. My brother Da Ming has perfect eyesight. He's always the one who spots dragonflies or geckos in the courtyard. Yes, I see it clearly. I'm frustrated with myself as I only see the bright, round, and particularly big moon in the sky, but I can't see any osmosis tree, nor the jade rabbit. I squint my eyes so hard that tears come down my cheeks. Silly, Daming said, you, don't, you won't see anything through tears. Meimei, he points, look at the shadow inside the moon. Don't they look like a giant rabbit standing on its hind legs, holding a pestle, grinding in a motor? Above it are the shadows of the osmanthus tree. Ming, look at what I got here. Grandma come out, comes out of the house and rolling an old-fashioned scroll. On the scroll, there is a picture with the title, Yue Guang or Moonlight in Chinese. It is a black and white print from a woodcut. In the round moon are the moon lady and her maids in their flowing dresses and traditional hairstyle. And the giant jade rabbit is busy at work with its motor and pestle. Tree branches, rolling mist, and clouds patterns and furl around them so finely that you know this is not an earthly place. I gazed at the scroll and then at the moon, then remembered the cartoon booklet I started reading this early this afternoon with Yu Cui. So Chang'e did reach the moon and become the moon lady and still lives in the moon? I asked grandma. Of course, dear, Grandma smiles to me. Grandma is from a generation of women who has bound feet and didn't have the chance to go to school. What a painful combination. For I love school and always want to wear shoes that are half, uh, half a size larger than my feet. Grandma is very short in stature as well, and I almost reach the same height as she. What does the jade rabbit pounding in the motor? I have seen grandma use motor and pestle to grind chili peppers, peppercorns, garlic, and many other herbs whose name I don't know. Oh, those are moon lady's secret potions, she says with a twinkle in her eye. Grandma knows a lot of stories and interesting things, even though she never went to school. What are secret potions? They are medicines that will heal people, particularly women and children. Grandma seems serious, and she raises her cup of osmanthus wine to the moon. I haven't seen grandma drinking before, even at the New Year's banquet. This toast to the moon lady must be special. I take another sip from her cup. I really like the sweet and flavorful taste. The moon in the now completely ink blue sky seems to be getting larger, brighter, and more like a sphere than a disc. I'm wondering about the healing power 
of the moon lady's potion, wondering about her journey to the moon, wondering about how Jade Rabbit became so large and how it got to the moon. When I hear my mom's voice, Ming, come to have some mooncake and watermelon. My mom, unlike my grandma, has natural sized feet and has gone to school all the way to college. She teaches at the teacher's college. She only cooks and serves at the table when they have celebrations for holidays, birthdays, or large family gatherings. Today, obviously, is a special day to celebrate the moon with our grandparents. Whoa, watermelon, yummy. Father must have bought a watermelon from the market that afternoon on his way home from work. He usually chooses a whole watermelon packed in ice in a giant tank. He carries it on the back seat of his bicycle while it is still dripping ice water. So on summer evenings, we often have watermelon, tasty and still chilled. A low table is set outside in the yard. They are gathering around the freshly cut watermelon veggies laid in the shape of a lotus in full bloom on a white porcelain platter, besides a silver bowl holding mooncakes of different flavors. Grandma's squirrel is hanging in the doorway facing the table. Curiously, there is a large glass jar of water surrounded by several small porcelain cups. When we all sat down on the bamboo stool, Grandma asked my brother and me to look for the moon. We look at each other, thinking it's odd. Of course, the moon is right on top of our heads in the sky. Look again and search for the moon here, not just the one in the sky. How many are there? As she says this, Grandma starts pouring water from the large glass jar into the little cups. Da Ming cries out, Grandma, you are holding a moon in the glass jar. I squint my eyes. Sure enough, the moonlight shines through the transparent wall of the water jar. That's two, I count excitedly. As water fills each little cup on the table, each of them suddenly contains a full moon. We count eight moon. Now, Grandmother sighs in a louder voice. Hold your cup of moonlight in your hands. Say your wishes aloud. The moon lady and jade rabbit will hear you. They will fulfill your wishes if you have been good children. I look at my parents doubtfully, but they look down with encouragement. Da Ming says the right thing as always, since he is almost three years older than I am. He wishes for good health and longevity for my grandparents, more success in their careers for mom and dad, and perfect scores for his tests in school. When it's my turn, all I can think about at that moment is what the flavor of the mooncakes are and how they will taste. Then I added, I wish Yu Cui could have a mooncake too. Mom cuts each kind of mooncake into six even slices for each of us around the table. Grandpa, Grandma, Mom, Dad, Da Ming, and myself. We each taste all the flavors, the lotus and the egg, the red bean paste, the five nuts, the ham and jujube paste buried inside the sweet and perfectly round crust. Each cake is like a full moon and the full moon shared between us means union and family harmony for years to come. We toast to thank the moon with our cup of moonlit water. I eat so much that evening and go to sleep that night with a full stomach, quite unusual in those days in China. I dream about moons, lots of moons, the moon in the sky, in my cup, in fish bowls, in the river over the lake of nearby Beihai Park. I dream that I'm on the moon, hearing the pounding of the jade rabbit with its mortar and pestle. 
I smell the sweet scent of osmanthus. It blooms in creamy cluster of flowers so huge that its falling petals are like snowflakes covering the path. Music comes from the Moon Lady's icicle-covered silver palace. Me, Yu Cui, and brother are standing under the fragrant blossoms, listening as if enchanted. We completely forget where we are and how long we have been standing there. I remember then that my hands are chilled, and I look down at them. There, I see in my own hands the silvery moonlight. Look, I'm holding moonlight! I cried out in my excitement and wake myself up to the morning light. At breakfast, I heard, I hear Yu Cui's voice outside our window. Ming, come and see. The moon lady has sent us a moon cake. My wish has come true. I look at my mom, who smiles silently. I wonder how Yu Cui's mom is going to cut the moon cake evenly into sevens at their family dinner on the second night of the moon festival. That must be hard. That's how I learned to hold moonlight in my hands. You may want to search for your own moons and visit the Tacoma Moon Festival with your brothers and sisters next year to hear more stories about the moon. Happy Moon Festival!